Good morning. Craig Howard, happy to be with you here this morning. I uh, had a, I'm, I'm a little late getting this up. Um, I actually, <laughs> I was actually uh, struggling last night to get to sleep. Uh, I'm sure you've had nights like that where you try and try and try and try and no matter how hard you try to go to sleep, it just, sleep just doesn't come. Your brain won't shut off. You're thinking about things you need to do. You're thinking about places you need to go and people you need to see. Uh, I've got several meetings today and then I've got to drive to Woodstock, Virginia uh, for another meeting tonight and tomorrow before I go home. And so right now I'm in Johnstown um, getting ready to leave uh, the motel to head to another meeting. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of like one of those deals where you're thinking about all the things you need to do and all the places you need to go. And I'm sure you've had that. You know, I'm sure you've had that situation where there were just things weighing on your mind that robbed you of sleep and robbed you of, of the rest that you needed. And you struggled. You know, you're, you're laying there in bed thinking, please, I need to go to sleep. And I've learned something, and, and it, I, I remembered it last night as I'm laying there trying to go to sleep. I remembered uh, a scripture that applies in these situations. Um, there are two different types of rest. There is, and I talked about this not too long ago, there's rest for the soul, and then there's rest for the body. And one usually, to some degree, a common, uh, uh, accompl accompanies, excuse me, I can't talk this morning, accompanies the other, but not necessarily. And uh, so I'm laying there and I remembered a scripture that's over in Exodus uh, 33, 14. And the scripture just simply says, uh, God, God says to, in it, uh, it says, my presence will go with you and I will give you and I will yeah I will give you rest. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. And this is a statement that that God is making um and it's one that the kind of rest that is being offered here is a rest that is more complete and more needed than sometimes even physical rest, although usually when we find this rest, we will find physical rest as well because our we let go of the trials and we let go of the problems. And so uh, last night I just began to say, Lord, I just need your rest. I just want to rest in you. I just want to trust these situations into your hands. I want to give you the 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 doubts that I have. I want to give you the the concerns that I have, and I just want to trust it into your hands. And I just want to rest in your presence. And you know what? As soon as I did that, as soon as I was willing to do that, as soon as I was willing to just find God's rest, find rest in him, find rest in, in an assurance that he's in control, as soon as I was able to do that, all of a sudden, guess what? I was able to go to sleep and the physical rest came. Rest is important to us, but it's very difficult to have physical rest until we found that rest for the soul, that rest where we're trusting in God, where we're placing our, 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 our trials and our problems in his hands and finding his rest. And so my challenge to you today and my, 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 my hope for you today is regardless of what you might have coming down the pike in your life, regardless of the decisions that you might have to make, regardless of the the bills that you're facing, the problems that you're facing, regardless of, of all the stuff that you've got to take care of. If you want to find rest for the body, it starts in finding rest for the soul. It starts in finding rest in God. It starts in trusting everything into his care. And then your body will find rest too because your mind will be at rest. Well, my time is going. I got to run. I hope you have a great day today. I didn't have a story for you today except the fact that I couldn't sleep. Uh, I was having trouble getting to sleep last night, but uh, we figured that out. So I hope you have a good day today. Lord willing, I'll see you from, let's see, this is Friday. I won't see you till Monday. I'm getting my days all run together. <laughs> I'll talk to you on Monday. God bless.